Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I have my sister here today. Hi guys. And I believe it was yesterday I seen this video of Carly and Aaron. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but I will leave the link to the video down below. Um, they were making their own breakfast crunch wraps from Taco Bell. And for those of you who don't know, I actually work at Taco Bell, so it's I usually get them every Monday since I'm the opening cashier on Monday so I always get breakfast during that time and it's like my favorite item so if you haven't tried it yet you should go try the breakfast crunch wraps they're a whole lot better than the regular crunch wrap supremes that we have I've made this before but the only difference is that I'm actually gonna try to make the sauce so there's this we actually stopped by Taco Bell before this so so there's the sauce that comes with inside the crunch wraps. It's the creamy jalapeno sauce. And this is how it looks like. So this time I'm actually gonna try to replicate this. Hopefully it comes out good because this would save a lot of money. So I'm following a recipe that I found online. I will also leave that down below. So I have some of these items right here. I this was from a separate recipe, so I found two different recipes, but on one of them, I just took one of those ingredients because the only difference was that the other recipe said to use Hidden Valley Ranch and the other one didn't. So I'm just gonna add in a little bit and see if that'll make a difference. So there's the ranch, the jalapenos, and you also need the like juice for it, and then salt, and these are here, this, and then the mayonnaise sour cream, and then of course the hash brown, bacon, egg, and the big tortillas, you need the big ones because that way you can actually fold them and they can stay in place, that way it doesn't break apart. And then of course your choice of cheese, I always get this one. Hello guys. Okay. <laughs> so you need half a cup of mayonnaise. So that's what half a cup looks like. Half a cup of sour cream. Three tablespoons of pickled jalapeno juice. Two. She's making breakfast crunch wraps. Three. Now we need three tablespoons of the jalapenos but it needs to be diced so we need to cut them up so that should be enough that was like three tablespoons and of course the juice just dropped everywhere now two teaspoons of paprika now two teaspoons of ground cumin that's a lot it's a lot of spices and then one teaspoon of the it says garlic granules i think that's how you say it but i just got garlic powder so hopefully that's equivalent to that i don't know and a teaspoon of the onion powder and one teaspoon of salt okay and then one teaspoon of the chili powder okay so this is how it looks Right here, now it's just time for us to blend it together. Is that? No. Let me see. <laughs> oh, no. Obviously, this goes inside more, so it blends it. Oh yeah, the ranch. I guess I'll just add a little drop of it, just to see. Just add a little drop, like that. No, it's not a little. That. <laughs> that's not a lot, that's a little bit still. All right, so. Let's blend this. Okay. okay, so it looks like it a lot. I don't know if you could see in this lighting, but it looks really similar. But I, from the smell of it though, it doesn't smell the same. But it smells good still. Oh yeah, it's already blended. Don't get no shells in there, please. 
That's what I'm looking for. The hash browns are barely starting to a little, starting to bubble a little. And the egg, let's make sure she doesn't put any shells in it. Is that a shell I see? Yeah, that's, her, that's the oak. That right there. Oh my gosh, you're so freaking old. <laughs> okay, are you guys fighting? That's not a shell. Okay. Hey, both of you. Dizzer, that's not a shell. Sure Sit down. Sit. Or lay down. <laughs> Roxy. Sit. Sit down, Roxy. She doesn't know sit yet. Okay, so now the bacon. We ain't got time for to make some real bacon, like to actually cook raw bacon. So we got the fully cooked microwavable one, which is a whole lot easier. It only takes like a couple seconds to cook. Okay, okay so the hash brown is done. Now we just need to cut up our bacon and then we have our egg right over here. I mean, you could just use like strips of them, like cut them in half, but at work, they, we use the like bacon bits. So it's like little tiny pieces. So that's how I'm gonna make it. Okay, so we're just gonna grab some egg for some of your bacon. And grab some cheese and then your sauce. Again, you put as much as you'd like. One of us, I Roxy. <clears throat> and now to fold it. Now you're just gonna flip it and it should look like that it should be crisp and golden around and then just wait for the other side to look the same and then that's it this is the real one and then this is the one we made so they look similar the only difference is that this one's darker and they smell different so they'll probably all taste different here's the homemade that and then here's the one from Taco Bell. Now I'm just gonna open it. You could have cut it, but okay, so that's how it looks. It doesn't look that appetizing. <laughs> I should have cut it instead, but I'm not trying to go get a knife. And then here's the one from Taco Bell. So you can see that bacon looks diff different in those little bits of it. So now to try it. So let's try the sauce by itself. By itself? Yeah, by itself, just to see how it tastes. So this is the homemade sauce. I'm gonna try a little bit. It tastes like, uh, it tastes like onion You know what? Ranch. The cumin, it was too much. It said to put a certain amount, but I it's could taste much. the jalapeno juice. And then the real one right here. It tastes pretty similar. It's just this one's too strong because of the that cumin. Better. The cumin is too strong. So next time I'm going to have to use less of the cumin. Not bad. But it's pretty similar. These sauces right here. These are good. And I always make sure and to the get the McDonald's the, one. The breakfast salsa with the, the McDonald's one. I still like the one from Taco Bell better. Have you tried it? Mm -mm, go try it. That one's better. It's better, but I mean, we're not trying to spend money. Just go to the store and make your own. It's still pretty good. Okay, that's going to end this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.